Good morning. It's a real privilege to share together with you as we study God's Word today. But first, I hope you're all keeping well and enjoying the cautious freedom we have in visiting and, and caring for one another again. It's so heartwarming and encouraging to experience the joy of face-on-face -face friendships with one another again. Let us come before the Lord in prayer. Thank you, Lord, for the blessing of being able to move around more freely with the COVID numbers still so low. It is just so healing and comforting. We pray for your guidance now as we study your word. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for always being present with us. In Jesus' name, we offer our gratitude. Amen. One night, some years ago, while we were still on our eight-acre plot in North Riding, we heard some unusual noises. It was eight o'clock at night. We sat dead still and listened. Then Tom got up, stepped cautiously into the kitchen, switched on the light and froze. There in front of him, outside the kitchen window, stood three masked, armed men. He immediately switched off the trip switch, which was right next to him, and we were plunged into pitch darkness. In a trembling voice, he quickly told me to set off the alarm and to phone the police. In fear, I crawled up the passage to our bedroom sat low down on the floor and did as he said. Terrified in this pitch darkness, we had no idea where they were now. I phoned ADT and the police four times over a period of time. It seemed like an eternity before anyone came. I could hear cars happily driving up and down our road. They, of course, were completely oblivious to our plight. I remember thinking, what a contrast. Here we are sitting in silent fear and just over the fence, there they are with their carefree driving. And then an amazing thing happened. That text from Romans 8 suddenly came flooding into my mind. Who shall separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus? For the first time, I understood that passage more than ever before. And I realized that no matter what they do to me, however much they might terrify me or destroy me, Nothing can ever separate me from the love of God. They can never take that away from me. And I clung to those words. So let us read from Romans chapter 8, verses 35 to 39. Verse 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble, or hardship, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or danger, or sword? As it is written, for your sake we face death all day long. We are considered as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. What comforting words. Oh, we all face hardships and difficulties in life. Many of you have had to face far more terror and fear and pain than we did that night. But 
as Paul says, it is impossible to be separated from God. Nothing can stop Jesus' constant presence with us. Jesus has promised us that. And his promises stand true. We see that in his death on the cross and in his resurrection. And he did all that for us. Whatever happens, we can crawl into his presence. We can stand in the shadow of his wings and feel totally safe and secure in him. We can never be lost to his love. Isn't that wonderful to know? Let us pray. O oh Lord God Almighty, as we come to you in prayer, we think not only of ourselves. Frightening things are happening to others while we go daily on in our lives. We think of the Ukraine and Russia and all that is happening in the lives of those innocent people. O oh Lord, May all who are in trouble reach out to you and find in you courage and strength. We pray too for our own circumstances in our own lives and the huge problems within our own country. Reach down and touch us, Lord. Guide us by your presence. Through Jesus Christ. Amen. And so, as we go into the rest of this day, may it be a blessed and beautiful day for us all. Bye for now. When peace like a in death my way when sorrows like sea billows roll whatever my lot you have taught me to say it is well it is well with my soul it is well with my soul it is well it is well with my soul though Satan should buffet though trial should come let this blessed assurance control that Christ has regarded my helpless estate and has shed his own blood for my soul. It is well. With my soul, it is well, it is well with my soul, my sin, all oh, the bliss of this glorious thought my sin not in part but the whole is nailed to the cross and i bear it no more praise the lord praise the lord oh my soul it is well my soul it is well it is well with my soul it is well it is well with my soul and Lord haste the day 
when my faith shall be sight. The clouds be rolled back as a scroll. It is well